we have heard that originally the concept of the passive house was based around the heat loss being reduced so that the air could be supplied through the ventilation system. Yeah. Is that um, uh, still um, a viable form of heating or do you see a move away, away from that method? No, um, it is of course a national definition of what a passive house is, mm. uh, but nobody is forced to use a specific type of heating system. You can use everything and uh, the costs for a system will be reduced anyhow, because even if you use a floor heating, uh, you need less uh, length of the heating pipes in the floor, so it will reduce the cost. Uh, so there are lots of possibilities what you can do, uh, but the basic definition of a passive house is that it has an energy balance which is as good that it is possible to supply all surfaces just with the supply air, the heating and the cooling. So this is the basic definition. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, is it possible to have a passive house building with natural ventilation in the UK climate? Oh, what's UK climate? So is, is, there, is there a part of the UK where the winter conditions are stable, higher than, say, six degrees all oh, the time? I think, no, I, think, I think probably not. So when I, um, I, I'm sorry, I, I think you will need heat recovery ventilation in the UK climate. Uh, all through, it might be that you could have really good low energy houses even without heat recovery. Uh, but uh, what I really insist in, uh, for human beings inside of a building, they need fresh air. So you can't solve a problem by reducing the amount of fresh air the persons get. This is what is often discussed, but uh, this is what I don't agree in. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we need fresh air, and if you know a little bit about the background of uh, indoor air quality, you know how important that is. Mm. Thank you. And uh, continuing on the theme of comfort, I mean, mm. uh, we hear of um, there's a passive house um, set, uh, requirement for windows to have a, um, a minimum surface temperature. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I think at the moment is, is it 0.8 for the U value of the central glass? Is that for, right? Yes, but for uh, say continental Europe. Yeah. yeah. So how would that change in for the UK? Do you think it would be possible we could do passive houses and pass the comfort criteria using double glazing? Well, um, if we come to a development to have a vacuum double glazing, mm -hmm. which, which might be possible in the future, it might be possible even in Central Europe to, to go back to a double pane vacuum insulated uh, mm -hmm. window. Uh, but uh, well, the comfort definition is that the, the overall surface temperature of a window shouldn't be less than four degrees lower than the indoor temperature of a room. And as far as I see, that's not possible with uh, even UK climate with a normal uh, double pane window. Uh, so it, it's it's near, but it's but it's not uh, exactly uh, not, not good enough. value. Mm. And what I've seen from other um, uh, um, research I've done for UK, I see that if you try to build a passive house and if you try that with a double pane window, mm. uh, you get quite high insulation levels mm -hmm. for compensating that. And uh, so I'm quite sure that it's a better idea to add the triple glazing mm. than, than to add this extra insulation. This mm. is just my, my opinion. Mm. Thank you. And uh, to continue on the comfort on the same uh, line, um, the, pa uh, the passive house standard has a air leakage, maximum air leakage of 0.6 air changes at 50 pascals. Yeah. And presumably this is to avoid drafts and yes. the need. So, I mean, in a warmer climate such as the UK, slightly warmer than Germany, would it be possible to raise this? Would you no, think? no, no, not at all. I, I think the air tightness is one of the things that we really have to stick on in, all, in almost all climates. There are only a few climates where this might not be a, uh, but it's a, a very few, like, like San Francisco. In San Francisco, you might not need to have it airtight. Uh, but in almost all other climates, you need that because this is a the major part of the air tightness um, requirement is to avoid structural damage. Uh, that is, uh, ah. you have a, 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 a wet mm -hmm. indoor air uh, with, with humidity, and if there is an exfiltration mm -hmm. through the construction, you get really 
big problems mm. of condensation infrastructure. Mm. So this is the major reason uh, to have it completely airtight. And uh, uh, so I think this is, uh, even in, in subtropical climates and of course in tropical climates, it yeah. has to be airtight because you get structural damage without airtightness. Oh, thank you for that. That's it. Um, one of the um, mm. differences that we see in the UK is we have a different method of measuring floor area, yes. useful floor area. Um, we understand the passive house standard is 15 kilowatt mm. hours per square meter. Mm. Um, how would you feel if we suggested that we adopted in the UK a lower target, mm. say 13, mm. uh, but used uh, the convention for floor area that we already oh, use? Which is just a question of recalculating the things. It's, of course, we, the uh, uh, passive house criteria on an absolute measure, mm. an absolute energy measure, won't change. Mm. Now, you can decide to change the, the reference area, mm. but that will change the criteria uh, number, but it won't change the criteria itself. So this is just a simple, simple okay. thing to do. We, we recommend to use the, uh, the used floor area uh, on another reason. This is when you look on what is the benefit from building a, a house, the benefit is the floor area. Mm. And uh, so if you use something else than the benefit, uh, there will be ways to optimize the home just mm. by adding uh, not used space, uh, which mm. is not the, which is not really saving energy, uh, uh, but just a trick to get the numbers mm. uh, uh, fit. Mm. So, so this is one of the reasons why we, why we recommend to do that. But mm. of course, you you, you can choose other measures. Mm.